Is this me? Yes, this is you. Oh, hey, it's Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan, how are you? Super good. Um, I tuned in the other day. Uh, this is a true story. And there's this total beefcake on the stream. And I'm like, who's this guy? And it's fucking Kowalski. Yeah. The guy is like a total dreamboat. <laughs> and um, I feel like we need to know more about him. Like, uh, is he married? And if so, like, how serious is it? You know? How serious is his marriage? Don't, yeah, don't you know. know anything about a what? I don't know anything about a Mrs. I Kowalski. I haven't heard anything about a Mrs. Kowalski. Um, but he did. Okay. He did manage to get the highest statewide total of any challenger in the Republican primaries. Yeah. In Nebraska. So if you're in Grand Island, uh, open well, up a uh, tender. Okay. Well, uh, that's mostly what I wanted to know. I did want to say, um, <laughs> I think uh, you're wrong on uh, Jerry Seinfeld. I think Seinfeld is right about about comedy. Um, if you think about like when I was growing up, the golden age of comedy and television was TGIF. Um, do you remember this? TGIF. I know this is older than you, but yeah, thank goodness. It's uh, thank God. Um, it's Friday. And, uh, there were all these shows that were just so hilarious, like, um, uh, family matters, right? So yeah. Steve Urkel, would like make a mistake and then he would go, did I do that? <laughs> I think that Jerry Seinfeld was actually talking about the seventies, to be honest with you. Well, no, but yeah, the seventies were good, but it just kept, it was like a, was like a rocket ship up until like the late eighties, mid nineties, like, um, on uh, what was the full house? Full so house, Dave yeah. Coulier would, would go, um, cut and then he'd make a cutting action with his fingers. Mm hmm. And then he'd go it and he'd point at something and then he'd go out and he'd do like his thumb over his shoulder, like cut it out. Yeah. Hilarious. Just like so good. I got to be honest with you. That is after my time. Uh, I did not see those. <laughs> so I did not see those shows. Well, you can just imagine a, a comedian going cut it out. Yeah. And just how funny that would be. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's when before the left got at uh, sitcoms. It's like cut it out. That's how it goes. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, can we get a camera on Matt, actually, so he can show? What you talking about, audience? Willis? How's that, too? <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? That was a good one. Um, uh, the, the Olsen twins on Full House would go, how rude. Mm. And that was, you know. Actually, some of these would be good for the soundboard. Catchphrase. Catchphrase yeah. is. Uh, how rude. Yep. All right. Well, I appreciate you weighing in on this. Okay. <laughs> well, th th thanks. Taking the L again, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Did we play the um, uh, Did we play uh, the the clip of uh, people walking out on Jerry Seinfeld? Oh, <clears throat> you know, here's something that occurred to me from the um, from the uh, interview that Jerry Seinfeld get with uh, Remnick from the the New Yorker. Let's just uh, I'll tell this uh, to, to preface that video. Let's pull that video up of the uh, of the graduation. Jerry Seinfeld said, you know, the left has ruined comedy. We don't have sitcoms anymore. Like, what did he say? All in the Family? Jefferson's? What else did he say? Good Times? Um, those three shows in particular were executive produced and created and showrun by a man named Norman Lear. Norman Lear, after being famous for being one of the most prolific um, executive producers of sitcoms in Hollywood, went on to start an organization called People for the American Way, which was an unabashedly <laughs> left-leaning organization, a massive political organization. I should just say. So Jerry Seinfeld really stepped in it in a multiple uh, ways. And here is not many people walking out on Jerry Seinfeld, but um, still they deserve uh, to be uh, applauded. Yep. Um, here is uh, Jerry Seinfeld at Duke. And I have to say like his, 
his speech was pretty um you know, run of the mill, Iron like Brown generic uh, type of stuff. Yeah, pretty. Crap. Uh, I've seen some pretty funny comedians uh, do uh, some some uh, graduation speeches. Uh, he kept his, you know. Uh, also, incidentally, haven't heard very good reports on his movie. But go ahead. <laughs> Jerry is also serving as our commencement speaker today. Oh, there's people <laughs> leaving. Not many, but I mean makes a message it does make a message it certainly got attention and you know and here you see a lot of people booing the people leaving and you know that's effective protest it is very effective protest because if you've got everybody paying attention making them question you know why are people walking out on jerry seinfeld and it hits the news like it did that is what an effective protest does. And everybody got to enjoy their graduation. They just had to feel a little bit of tinge of like, is there something wrong with, with, with Jerry Seinfeld? I mean, aside from like his whining that people don't find him funny anymore. I'm trying to find if someone clipped one of these jokes. Aaron Brown did, did clip one on his show. And uh, yeah, you know, not missing a whole lot. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.